Hi guys, I'm John Bro, and welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi's Stir Fried Chicken. And I just took a shower, so I am fully refreshed from the three three levels that I just recorded. Oh man, Dark Blue Yoshi's still missing. That is sad. That is a very sad day. Uh, so I'll be Light Blue Yoshi in his memory. It's just a faded memory of the the beautiful dark colored hue that we once saw swimming use the control stick to steer Yoshi while swimming yeah this is probably this is considered most likely the most evil level in the entire game for various reasons which you will see more later not so much now I liked the first half of this level a lot there's two halves to this level first half I actually thoroughly enjoy because I always thought it seemed like a really cool idea to be able to swim on the surface of the water, because this is the only level where you ever see the surface of the water. The only level where you can actually jump out of it, physically jump out of the water and go back in. I don't know, it just seems cool. And especially since you can see the way that there are ripples on the surface of the water and there's light shining down, it looks very clean, very nice. It really does. I just like the way this looks. It looks... I don't know. Just looks crystal clear. Um, and all in all, it's just very refreshing. Although maybe not so much with the with the music, because the music does not sound refreshing. There's our first heart. Yeah. The hearts you will see two of them in the first half of the level, and then the, the third one you will see near the very end, at the very top. So, that's basically that, that bit summarized. You don't want to eat these ugly-looking yellow, green, brown, red, orange, uh, wart-covered, looks like, I, even, I don't even know what that is, maybe a stomach, maybe a liver. I always thought they kind of looked like maybe gnomes, gnomes covered in... Uh, I don't know what they would be covered in exactly. They just look they just look gnome shaped. That's all I'm trying to say. They look gnome shaped. I really don't even know what they're supposed to be. Um because you can never trust those gnomes. They always stare at you in the yard. All those silly lawn gnomes. But then then again there are times when lawn gnomes are quite helpful. Like in Toy Story. The lawn gnome says they're not in the yard, but I'll keep looking. <laughs> I love how in the Toy Story 2 commentary, whenever everyone's talking about the lawn gnome in the yard, uh, I don't remember who said it. I think it might have been maybe Andrew Stanton. Someone said, we should make an entire movie about lawn gnomes, and then someone shushes him, and he's like, oh, oh, I'm fired, aren't I? <laughs> uh, it's great. I like listening to commentaries for for movies that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, and I think the way that I just push those blocks together after destroying the middle one, I think that's the only way you can get all the melons doing that. Which is dumb. It's trial and error, really. But like, the Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs commentary, that's hilarious. Love that. Um, hmm, let's see. Oh best commentary bit that I think I've ever heard in A Bug's Life. The the A Bug's Life commentary, everyone's standing around or sitting around or whatever they're doing while watching the movie, all the directors, and whenever Dot gets her wings, they just say, and Dot gets her wings. And everyone's like, yay, Dot! <laughs> they all say it. They all say yay in this really dull sounding voice. It doesn't sound especially doesn't sound congratulatory at all. It's just, yay, Dot! And it sounds so funny, and they just start laughing. Uh, but now that I'm now that I'm done explaining the humor of other people, maybe I should try to start being funny myself. But I'm pretty terrible at that. Hmm, let's see. Melon, melon, melon cake, melon cake, melon cake. This is proof that I'm not funny. Melon cake? Like, what? Yeah, my idea of humor is just 
taking things and making them inappropriate at times, not usually, but in, a, in an unexpected context. Uh, yelling at things, saying completely random words that don't make sense put together, like dental fluids. That, that, that would be an example. Dental fluids. You know, this water might be dental fluid. Because you, you, you know, you kind of get the sense of of dentistry being rather clean, because you always have to brush your teeth. Although I will be quite honest, I will be quite frank, I have brushed my teeth less recently, which is a very bad habit. You should not stop brushing your teeth. But I've just kind of done that a little bit recently. I've, I've forgotten to brush, simply because I've been so busy with schoolwork and other things. So this water you do not want to fall into because, oh, big blurps, they will kill you. Oh, they will eat you in one bite, just like the big bubbas or whatever they're called in Super Mario 64, and I think also Super Mario Bros. 3, is that it? I can't remember exactly, but they are the death of you. They will kill you. Um... They have the impressive range of a dolphin, and the impressive, impressive throat of what's an animal with an impressive fr uh, an impressive throat? I'm not really sure. Maybe uh, um, well, I don't know. I, I can't think of any animals at the moment, so I'm gonna try to think of something else. Of a Yoshi? Well, that's just dumb. Why would I compare them to a Yoshi? That's just that's just mean. This guy is not nearly quite so annoying. Because he doesn't, he doesn't kill you as soon as you hover over him, but he can still eat you. This blue blurp, this blue blue blurp 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 blurp. But yeah, he still squirts at you with his mouth. Lovely imagery right there. Oh, that scared me so much. Because, like, the game over screen went out faster than usual and everything, and ah. Uh... Okay, apparently the blue Yoshis aren't working. Let's try... Let's try red, because that's... Not exactly the opposite of blue, but it's the closest thing from orange. Because I think orange is the opposite. It's the contrasting color of blue, right? I think it is. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to... I'll eat that. I'll eat that, I guess. <laughs> Ah! Okay. Okay. Stay calm, Yoshi. Stay calm. You're not going to be digested today. You're not going to suffer the same fate as your lovely friends whom you've known all your life, who just suddenly got eaten by these finned menaces. Yoshi's Wars! The Findom Menace! What? Yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna worry about the fruits now, because I already have all the hearts, I already have all the heart I need, and now I just need the courage. <sighs> of course, wasn't wasn't courage and a heart basically the same thing uh, with the lion and Wizard of Oz? Like, didn't he want... No, wait, no, no. He wanted courage, and the scarecrow wanted the heart. But you kind of picture courage and heart almost being the same thing in a lot of cases. Mandibles of death! That's what these are. These are the mandibles of death. And, uh, kind of... Kind of on that same subject of Wizard of Oz. The lion looks really weird. Have you seen the lion's mouth? It just looks strange. Of course, it's even weirder whenever people try to actually look like a cat and they have their upper lip surgically surgically changed, altered, to where it actually looks like a cat mouth. That's just weird. Why would anyone do that? I can't imagine how weird that would feel, to have a cat mouth. Like, for a cat it wouldn't feel weird, because cats have, like, hair and everything. They have the fur around their mouth, and it just, like, fits together. Their mouth is meant to fit together in that position where it goes up in the middle. But humans, no. We have basically straight lips. That would just seem... Ugh. That, that's not... That's just not a good thing. 
But apparently it seems perfectly natural to anime characters. I don't know why an why certain anime characters have cat mouths, because no normal person has a cat mouth, and definitely not like a random teenage girl like Kanata in Lucky, Lucky Star, which is, for whatever reason, the only anime that I've ever seen. I remember going to, s going to my new school that I've been... I've been in for two years now, and one of the first things that I ever said to anyone was to one of the girls that I know now. I said, you know, Lucky Star is actually the only anime that I've ever seen, and she just busted out laughing, and she said, I never expected a guy to say that. Yeah, so... Um... That's my story. That is my life story. Oh, uh, let's put an end to that... that... that line of discussion. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, Red Yoshi prevails! The Blue Yoshis fail, and the Red Yoshi prevails! See, this is further proof that Mario is better than Sonic. Sonic is blue, Mario is red, and red is the dominant color. As proven by the Yoshis. Of course, the Yoshis might be biased because they carry Mario around everywhere, but if anything, Mario is more annoying, so this is unbiased. The jungle lake was swimming with hungry fish called blurps. Called blurps. The blurps would swim and jump, but mostly they like to eat and eat. Their two favorite things, to eat and to eat. The Yoshis didn't want to f become fish bait, so they quickly swam away. No, actually, two of them died, and the other was just kind of ran because they weren't swimming. They weren't swimming at all. They didn't even want to get close to that water. They weren't swimming in that that shark-infested, doomed, death, fail water. But we are going to swim in more water next time. In what level is it going to be? Lots of fish. Yeah, lots of jellyfish on the last time we went to this page, and now lots of fish. And this was another one of my favorite levels. So next time we are going to go to another one of my favorite levels. See you guys then, and thank you for watching this terrible experience.